Today is going to be a tutorial to show you how to use Terraform with Azure. I'm just going to give you an example on how to set up your service principle, your environment variables, and then quickly create a resource group and a storage account. So Terraform is the most popular infrastructure as code tool. So infrastructure as code is a way to automate the deployment of infrastructure in the cloud. So the way it works is Terraform has got providers. Providers is like an interface where it understands the API of the cloud infrastructure. And then it's a way to declarative, declaratively define what resources you want to deploy. And Terraform take care of checking the state, the state of your code against the state that's deployed and make sure that deployment uh, happens um, orderly, structure, and in a way that's repeatable. And that's the way you want it to do in a corporate environment. You know that everyone, when it, it's create a resource in Azure, they usually go here, create a resource group manually. But sometimes you work in many development environments, you have dev staging prods or test prods. And you wanted to systematically in a DevOps CI CD consistently deploy those resources without human intervention. Let's get started. So I have um, Azure subscription here. That's my own subscription. And the prerequisites, if you wanted to follow here, uh, I'm doing for my WSL instance. Uh, I have here installed my Azure CLI and also Terraform CLI. And you need to have admin rights of your Azure accounts because I'm going to create a service principle and grant that contributor role of a service principle over my subscription, where this service principle that I'm going to delegate to um, Terraform are going to deploy resources on my subscription. So let's get started. First, I'm going to create a directory here on my Ubuntu. First, I'm going to create a directory. Make header. I'm just going to call it Terraform Azure Demo. I'm going to cd to that directory. And then I'm just going to open VS Code, code dot. In VS Code, I'm just going to open a terminal. You need to make sure that you are logged in in your Azure account or Azure CLI. You just do a Azure login if you haven't. But if you are, to check if you are logged in, you just put Azure account. And then you just put uh, show. It's going to show your account. Now to create a service principle, you're first going to create this environment variable here called default subscription ID. Just to, if you put an environment variable, it's much easier. So you just run that command. And then you're going to run the following command to create a Azure service principle. Uh, its command is Azure AD SP, create for RBAC, and then the name of your service principle. I'm just going to call it Terraform uh, SP. Now I'll do Terraform ARN. And then the role is going to be contributor and the scope are going to be my subscription. If you create that, that's going to return some attributes of the service principle. And then after that, you can create a file called .env. And then you're going to create those environment variables in that env. And then for subscription, you just get your subscription here. For 
your client ID, you're going to use your app ID. For a secret, are you going to use the password? For tenant ID, use the tenant ID. For the server's principal name, you use this one. Great. I think I've got everything correct. Now you can initialize your variables with a source dot env. And then you can do a lot echo one of them. Let's get the service principal name. Just to see if they were created initialized. Yeah, so good. Now let's get started with a creation of a uh, Terraform file or EMO file. You're gonna call it, I'm just gonna call it main tf. And my VS Code has recognized. So to create a um, storage account, you can go in the Terraform documentation, go to Azure uh, documentation, and you can go to storage account. Uh, storage. And then you can just copy that, paste. But before, you need to set up your provider. I'm gonna do it right now. On top, before that, uh, I'm going to write here. So you're gonna write first Terraform. And then within the form, you just put required providers. And then the one that you're going to use is Azure. So that's the one. But the version here is not this. It's 3.0.110, which is the latest one here that I'm using, that template. Go back here. So now I'm going to... So another thing that needs to be done, uh, yeah, that's exactly this, which is the provider. And then it's gonna be this one and features uh, is an empty object. Right, I think that's enough. So because I, I don't need to hard code here, my service principle, um, credentials because I've already have that in an environment variable which is safer and then if I wanted to check this code to git I'm just going to ignore the .m file so that's a best practice so in terms of resource here you declare the resource that you're trying to deploy and then that's the type of resource which is resource group and the example here is not the name of the resource group just the name of the object I'm just going to call it Terraform uh, RG. And then I'm just going to call the same name, this uh, here. And the location, I'm going to use um, my uh, Australia. This, so, so, this. Yep. And then the uh, storage account name. Is gonna be can be any name here, uh, but here needs to be a unique name. I'm just gonna call uh, stg uh, my name io forty two. That's almost impossible. That's been created already. The Azure Resource Group. Uh, I think this is going to be that one there. Yep. 
and it's just a standard and I'm just gonna put LRS uh, and then I'm just gonna remove the tags I don't need to put tags and that's about it for the configuration file and the uh, setup so first you need to initialize your project with Terraform just make sure that you've got Terraform installed first yeah I do and then you do a Terra form init and that's gonna initialize your project after that you do a Terraform plan to see if your file is correct plan. it's gonna take a while because it's gonna go on your subscription check the resources are they there yeah it's gonna say it's gonna has got a plan and it's gonna add two resources and then you want to apply that and deploy you do a terra form apply and then you do like one thing that i put is auto approve which is they're not gonna ask for confirmation it's gonna go straight away so deployment start probably all gonna pause and fast forward this part because it's gonna go faster yeah, it looks like it's completed uh, let's check and so not yeah yeah it's it's completed so before I go another thing that you could have checked before is on your subscription make sure that um, once you created the service principle you can check if the service principle has rights to that subscription by checking the IM and then role assignment and then you can see that just wait a little bit until it reads so you can see the Terraform RM ARM is a contributor here so that what's allow for Terraform goes and deploy anything they want or it wants in my subscription so I'm just gonna remove that oh, I'm not gonna remove because before that I'm going to destroy those resources so to destroy you just do a Terraform destroy and then I'm just gonna put again auto approve and it's gonna straight away destroy everything. So it's all gone. There is nothing here. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.